Dan çet gün cılığım nın Allazı gaydal kongurey Aldı koşun çonumum Alı gaydal kongurey country my people where have you gone Wait, my hands are full of fire and everybody get all excited because my hands are burning and they all run out and that's the 
Ой, жоның дейшу Еске чағай орық болдайшу Девер тұлдар борам оңайшу Деме кәйге жеткен болдайшу Девер тұлдар борам оңайшу Деме кәйге жеткен болдайшу
Hi, this is David Hoffner, and you found The Hidden Track. We thought it would be fun to isolate some tracks from the record so that you can hear some of Ondar's amazing vocal techniques. We also want to play for you some of the samples and the building blocks that I used to put these tunes together. Now, some of these sound bites have fascinating stories behind them, and once you've heard these stories, then you can go back and listen to the record from a whole different perspective. Now, Ondar sings in many different voices, and you might be wondering what his natural speaking voice sounds like. So here he is, he's going to introduce himself to you and tell you where he's from and remark on some similarities between Tuvan music and American music. Eki, Eki Ergimejur, Slerbugudening, Amurkadan Aitrbushan. Sol men di çağı bolurun arını küzedim. Men bolsa Azya dipdin tövünde çatıp durar. Tava dev gürüne den gelgen Ulus'tun kömeşesi Kongorol ondardır men. Amerika dipte çele şırtan Hindey, Komboy, Kandri hükümçilerinde Kadı oynan ajılımlı Silerge paral kadıp dur men. Şunte Komboy! And notice how easily Ondar has assimilated American words like country and cowboy, he says country, cowboy, into his vocabulary. Now, even though it's important for him to continue the thousands of years of Tuvan culture with which he was raised, he's very open to new ideas, new influences. One of the funniest moments in making the record came when he sang the wrong words and when we stopped the tape, he looked up and said, Sorry, Jack. It was this openness and willingness to collaborate that made this record possible. There had already been records released of traditional Tuvan music, and so we really wanted to take the next step and create a collaboration between Tuvans and Americans, between old and new. And so that's what this record is all about. The original idea for this record started several years ago in my home studio. Now, I like to experiment with mixing sounds and musical phrases together. Sometimes sounds that are musically very different, but that maybe have a connection on a spiritual level. And so I took some 20-year-old recordings of the late Richard Feynman playing the drums with his friend Ralph Layton. Enchanting nonsense syllables. and tried mixing them with recordings of Ondar's throat singing. Now Feynman was the brilliant Nobel Prize winning physicist 
who first sparked all the current interest in Tuva and who longed to go there someday. But sadly, he passed away before making the trip, so this musical experiment was my idea of what it might have sounded like had he gotten the chance to play music with the Tuvans. I slowed down the recordings of Feynman slightly to get them to the same tempo as the Ondar samples. At that point, I noticed a couple of things. That Feynman's chanting was in the same mode that the Tuvans do their throat singing in, but also that they were in different keys, about a whole step apart. So I composed the chord structure of the song to accommodate the places where Feynman would be singing, so that there'd be a natural transition between the two. Now listen to Feynman here. Now it sounds like he's chanting in some exotic foreign language. But as you'll hear when we isolate his voice, he's pulling what used to be one of his favorite jokes, which was to sing English words with a strange accent to make it sound foreign. What he's really singing about here is his favorite drink, orange juice. He's saying, orange juice, orange juice. Give me a little bit of orange juice. I said juice, 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 juice. Listen. We want to teach you to recognize some of the different styles of Tuvan throat singing. There are three main styles. They're called sagut, Herme, and Kargara. There's also a rhythmic trill called Borbang Nadur that can be used as a variation on any of the three main styles. Let's start with Sagut which is Ondar's specialty. The opening lines of song number seven, Two Lands, One Tribe, are sagut. It's easy to hear that there's a low note drone and then the high note melody created with harmonics. The chanting and Native American flute on this song are by Bill Miller, a singer and songwriter who's from the Mohican tribe. When we introduced Bill Miller to Congarol Ondar, they had an immediate connection. And after the session, Congarol gave Bill some Tuvan dice made of sheep bones, and Bill in turn presented Congarol with a handmade Native American flute. Congarol came running into the control room and spoke the most English I'd heard all week. He said, Dave, five days recording, only one with Bill. He'd have loved to done a whole week with Bill. Most people can hear two notes when they first listen to throat singing, but Herme Barbang Nadur is a good style to begin to hear more than two. So let's go back to the first song on the record and listen carefully to Ondar's voice without any instruments. First, there's the low drone note, which is this one. Then there's the melody, which is up high with the harmonics. Now, in between those two, there's a middle note and it's pulsating with a rhythm that goes like this. So far, you've heard several notes at once, but with no overdubbing of Ondar's voice. Now, there is a section of this song where we stack three tracks of Congarol singing, and it sounds like this. Oh, 
By the way, Ondar always sings her May in the same key, which is in between D and E flat. He doesn't need a tuner for this, he just naturally goes to that pitch every time. The third style, and easiest to identify, is Kargara. Now, Americans have all heard Kargara because it's the same technique that was used to create the voice of Popeye. You can hear Kangarol changing the shape of his mouth and forming different harmonics. Listen to his vocal track by itself. Now, notice how the harmonics are forming the same melody played by the violas. Kargara Rap was another song that was created by juxtaposing recordings of Richard Feynman with recordings of Kangaroo Ondar. We took a Tuvan tongue twister and then layered it with percussion and then alternated that with clips of Feynman telling some of his great stories. Since the song only contains short clips, here's the full stories that they were taken from. A friend of mine, by the name of Bernie Walker, he was a kid with me when I was about 11 and 12. We were both scientifically minded. We went to school together. We were very good friends. He and I sort of grew up together scientifically. He had a laboratory and I had a laboratory. We often played together and talked about problems in science and discussed things together. In fact, we had a magic show one time. We used to put magic shows on for the kids, chemistry magic. And we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of tricks, you know, turning water colors and stuff like that, you know, wine to water and all this. But he was a pretty good showman, and I kind of liked that too, so he put on a good show. And on each side of the little table were two Bunsen burners with what we call watch glass plates, you know glass, flat glass plates rounded on stands, which had iodine on it. And you see me out